One of my viewers asked me, he goes by the name of Beef Supreme. It's B-E-A-F Supreme. And he's on YouTube, so take a look at his channel. Because he uh, composts red wigglers and worms also. But he asked me a question, how often do I fluff my bedding when I feed my worms? So this video is going to answer your question, Mr. Beef Supreme. So stay tuned. Well, hello. When I feed my worms once a week, I fluff the bedding every time that I feed my worms. So I fluff it up about once a week. And these castings are looking really nice. My worms are doing a wonderful job of making the nice rich castings that all worm farmers want their worms to do. This one here, I'm fluffing it up as usual and I'm going to feed them some watermelon. And with watermelon, you got to feed it to them quick because that stuff, man, I'll tell you what, it starts to become water really quick. So, and I watched another YouTuber, her name's Leila Koger. And um, I don't add a lot of stuff in my bedding or my beds anymore for my worms because I want them to eat it a lot sooner. And she showed me that tip on her videos and told me also that these bands do get heavy after a while. So I'm going to feed them some watermelon. There's still some bedding here that they can still consume. So let's give them some watermelon for now. Yummy, delicioso, delicioso watermelon. So I'm going to cover this up with some of the bedding and then feed my other worms in worm bin number two. It's worm bin number two. Let's see what's going on in here. Got a sprout that's growing through the paper. It's awesome. These castings are looking nice too. So let's see what's going on. Um, the watermelon that I'm feeding these worms, I have put it into the freezer and thawed it out. There's no smell here. It smells like some black gold. Ching ching, ching ching. So let me just turn this over. And then I'm going to add more food scraps, some watermelon. And this one definitely be ready to harvest by the end of August. This will be the last feeding for this one for a while until I harvest these castings. I don't know if I should do the migration method or the dump and sort method. But either way, they don't bother me. I just like to take time out to go through the worm process of harvesting my castings and separating the worms from that. So I did a couple of other video, videos can speak with me actually doing the migration method which I actually I like I liked also but the way these castings look I'm just gonna just sort through the castings and get my worms out. That's about it for now with this video. If you please like it give me a thumbs up if you have not already, subscribe to my channel. I just want to say you guys have a great day. Bye.